Yo, yo, yo. What is good with y'all boys? It's your boy J.I. back at it again with another one. You dig what I'm saying? Um, today, you guys see the thumbnail. You guys see the title. You already know what this video is about. You know, I don't like wasting time in none of my videos. So we're going to go ahead and get straight to it, man. Got my girl Jules with me in the car. She going through her first little, um, her first little taste of heat right now. If you don't, if you don't own a dog, you don't know about like dogs and stuff like that. My husky, she's a female. Um, heat is basically their version of a period. Basically when they can have babies, um, and then they start bleeding and shit. This is her first, so got a little diaper for her and shit from Petco. She be wearing that shit, she don't really like that, but you know, it is what it is. She got used to it now. But anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that intro one time. Uh, drop in the comment section down below if you guys want me to change the intro. Cause I was, I've been thinking about shooting another intro as soon as I get the um, the mail back up and running or the new car comes in, whichever one, um, you know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do another intro. But let me go ahead and roll the current intro and then we'll get straight into the video. Alright guys, so basically the question at hand, everybody keeps asking me, ever since I posted the 1K, um, the new car for 1K video, everybody's been asking me, are you giving up on the marrow? Why are you giving up on the marrow? Telling me that they don't think I should give up on the marrow. You know what I mean? And I listen to you guys' opinions, I read every comment, I try to reply to every DM that I get. Um, if I see it, I got you. I reply to it. You're a fucking idiot. This car just cut me off. It's all right. Go ahead. Anyway, yeah, so basically, I don't know. The marrow really, I feel like, in all honesty, my marrow was at its peak as far as running wise and looks wise when I had it wide bodied. When I got in that accident, everything just kind of went downhill from there. Um, that accident really makes me upset because of how dirty the person's insurance did me. But, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It's a minor setback for a major comeback. I'm just waiting. You know, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the fruits of my labor to appear. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it is what it is. Unfortunately, um, I can't get my wide body fender fixed. I've went to two different people now and they both said that they can't fix it, that the fender is too far gone. There's nothing that they can do. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, once again, it is what it is. It's nothing that I can do about it. I'm not going to get upset. I'm not about to lose my shit about it or whatever. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I can't I can't change what's already been manifested. You know what I'm saying? Or what's already been, what's already been done. I can't change it. So I just got to live with it. It's cool. You know? I'm going to miss the wide body, of course. But hey, man. You know what I mean? You got to live and you got to grow. You got to adjust. That's what life is. So I'm just going to adjust. Now, am I giving up on the car? I really don't want to. I don't. You know what I'm saying? But like, as of right now, the love for the car is, I wouldn't say it's fading away, but okay. Um, What was I saying? Oh yeah. Okay, I don't want to give up on the car. I really don't, to be honest. But the way that I feel as far as how driving this car is right now it's tough it's tough i put gas in the car it's gone like that i literally just filled up my tank and it's already underneath half of full which is ridiculous but it's fine whatever and then 
I think my, oh my God, is my diffuser off the car? That would be crazy. Hold on. Definitely is, yep. See, you see, this is exactly what I mean. This is exactly what I mean. The car is falling apart on its own, like, dead ass. That's just a temporary fix. I guess I'm gonna just have to reinstall this. This is ridiculous. Probably put some new screws in there. That's example number one. I don't know how y'all can see because I'm using the front camera, but that's just example number one. Secondly, my side skirt flew off while I was driving the car. So like, it's like the car is giving up on me and itself because it won't, like the parts, I don't know, maybe the parts that I'm putting on, maybe I'm not using the right hardware, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's better hardware to use, you know what I'm saying? But it's just falling off. It just keeps falling off. My fog lights, for example, in the front bumper, the fog lights that came with the bumper fall off. The diffuser falling off. Side skirt falling off. Like I just, the front lip, fought, both of them broke off. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what do I do? You know? And I was talking to my guy, Francisco Mejia, and he was telling me, he was like, you know, that's why you gotta, that's what, that's what it, it, it comes with being a car guy. When something breaks, you gotta fix it, which is true. It's true. I, I completely agree. But when, the way I see it is, look, this car is, this car is this channel. You feel what I'm saying? This car is the star of the channel, which means like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Without, if I don't have this car, I can't post a video. If I don't have a car, I can't post a video. If I can't, put, if I modifying the car is what gets what gets you guys the videos. You know what I'm saying? And if I keep modifying the car and all the modifications are coming off the car, then what's the point? So that's why I started looking into new vehicles. That's why I started looking at new cars. I'm not gonna lie to y'all because it, at the end of the day, I'm pouring all this money in the car and it's not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. It's not lasting, so what's the point? If that's the case, I might as well go buy another car and start modding that one because this one just don't want to take the modifications. The only mods that I can say that are on this car that like have cooperated would be like the tail light tint, the, the headlights, these, um, the bumper be tweaking too, um and the exhaust the full exhaust like that's it you know what i'm saying and it's type it's type of setting you know so what i'm doing right now is i'm weighing my options man you know what i mean i'm going around i'm looking like and i'm not gonna one thing that i learned from getting the um infinity was like when i like not to rush the process you know what i'm saying so i'm looking but I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to jump into, I'm not trying to rush into the next, the next whip. Like, I'm looking. You know what I'm saying? I find a car, I like it, I write down the price, take pictures of it and stuff, and I put it in the, um, I put it in the notes. And I just scroll through the notes whenever it's time. And if I find the one that actually speaks to me, like, really speaks to me, like, I'm talking about, I've seen so many cars off camera that I just ain't been showing y'all because I'm not trying to be that YouTuber that be like, oh yeah, I'm going to go get a new car or I'm going car shopping and they just keep posting new videos of different cars. Like, that's not the content that I want to bring. So... The only reason why I showed y'all that marrow was because I was actually interested in getting that marrow and I'm really considering getting that marrow if it's still on the lot. But if the numbers aren't right, I'm not gonna get it. It's that simple. And when I first started talking to them, the numbers weren't right. You know what I mean? And I'm not about to I'm not about to sit here and put myself in a hole to get the SS and then I'm fried. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm moving. I got to get my new apartment. I got to get new furniture for the apartment. All that. Like, I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't just put myself in a hole knowing that I got stuff that I got to take care of. And then, just to get a new whip. I'm not going to sleep inside the car. No, sir. No, sir. So, I'm sorry that it's a little shaky. I'm recording on my phone again. I left the camera at the crib. Um, but, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. 
as far as as far as like giving up on the car, as far as like modern it and shit, hell no, I'm not gonna give up on the car. If I can't find a car that gives me that gives me the numbers that I want, the transmission that I want, the engine that I want, the color that I want, then the Merrill's gonna stay and we just gonna boost it. And go with the original plan, which was to manual swap it, boost it, and then engine swap it. That simple. So with that being said, no, I'm not giving up on the Merrill, man. I'm just, I'm weighing my options right now. That's all. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, I just pulled up to the crib. So that's going to be it for this video. It's been your boy, J.I. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below if y'all think I should give up on the Merrill, if y'all think I should get a new whip, or if you think I should keep the Merrill. It's been your boy, J.I. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, leave it a big thumbs up and go ahead and drop a comment down below and answer the questions that I just asked you. Do you think I should get a new car? Do you feel like I'm giving up on the Merrill? And are you excited for what's coming next? Drop it down in the comment section down below. It's been your boy. I'll see you guys in the next one.